Two at ten, should officers who patrol the city's hospitals be armed? It's been debated for years, but in light of several recent violent incidents in medical facilities, some are giving the idea a second look now. Tonight, Miles Miller is here with a special investigative report. Miles. Cheryl, the shooting at Westchester Medical Center last week was yet another reminder of the danger that patients and employees face at hospitals across the state. It's raising concerns tonight about whether officers at city hospitals should be armed and that that question and the answers and all of that depends on who you ask. At 9.39 this morning, Westchester County Police received a report of shots fired at the medical center. Last week, 72-year-old Richard DeLuca walked into Westchester Medical Center and opened fire on his wife as she lay in her hospital bed before turning the gun on himself. There's been an uptick in healthcare violence uh, nationwide. Uh, certainly in New York. Internal incident reports obtained by New York One show 15 incidents involving assault and workplace violence at the city's public hospital system in the past year. 10 resulted in arrests, and in at least two incidents, officers were assaulted. Former NYPD detective Steve Strauss is the vice president of security at Northwell Health, the state's largest private hospital system. He believes the best way to improve safety is by arming security guards. We decided that it would help our patients, our staff and our visitors if we had an armed presence on our campuses. Northwell Health's gun program is being piloted at two of their hospitals, Long Island Jewish Medical Center in Queens and North Shore University Medical Center in Manhasset. The armed guards are all former police officers. They carry the same 9mm handguns, holsters and bullets as NYPD officers. In the event of a terrible situation, we can manage it locally until the proper law enforcement officials arrive. New York City Health and Hospitals police officers are not armed, but Greg Floyd, who heads the union representing them, believes they should be. If there's a shooting, they have to take cover also because they don't have any weapons to protect themselves or the public. Councilmember Carlina Rivera, who chairs the council's hospitals committee, disagrees. In a place where people are in desperate circumstances or have mental health issues, I just feel like having weapons in such a public setting, it will do more harm than good. In fact, at Westchester Medical Center, where last week's shooting happened, despite security being armed, they were unable to stop the Luca. We have to maybe look at portable metal detectors and have a better just security process where people maybe have visible uh, visitor IDs and just looking at how we could really just train people in a different way to be able to de-escalate violence. Hospital violence is a growing trend across the United States when it comes to attacks. Cheryl, more than 75% of nurses say they've been attacked in hospitals yeah. across the country. Yeah, uh, Miles, this is not new, this uh, complaint from peace officers to be armed. How long have they been trying to get their um, officers armed? So this has been going on since the 1990s. We have a video, actually, of a campaign that they had run uh, for uh, back in 1999. They were trying to get guns in hospitals uh, in order to protect themselves. They do a lot of transports at uh, Bellevue Hospital from Bellevue if they somebody's arrested there they have to take them down to central booking without guns and they uh, back at, back during that time Mayor Giuliani had said uh, that uh, there was no issue with this that violence in hospitals was so uh, far down that they didn't need to uh, arm these officers they say they need to take a second look at this because it's a different time a different age it certainly is a different time miles thank